hi everyone today i am going to discuss about important concepts in motion in a plane for this chapter total teaching hours is 13 and total allotted marks is 12 this 12 mark is distributed in various sections let us discuss one by one from this chapter you are going to get one mcq question which carries one mark and one FIB question which carries one mark and one essay type question means short answer type which carries three mark and one NP numerical problem small problems okay that may carry two mark and one long answer type question which carries five mark that total marks is 12 now i will discuss about important concepts in this chapter motion in a plane if you prepare these concepts you will get easily 12 mark in your annual theory exam okay here the important concepts are scalars and vectors as you already know about the these concepts scalars and vectors very very important concept in this chapter from this concept you are going to get two mark questions and next one is addition of vectors in the addition there are again three types first one is triangle law of vector addition second one is parallelogram law of vector addition third one is polygon law of vector addition out of these three additions you are going to get any one addition in your annual exam you may get question from triangle addition or parallelogram or polygon addition okay. important questions for three mark each one carries three mark out of three any one and next resolution of vector for example vector a is there that can be resolved in terms of x and y components okay that is the derivation of resolution of vectors which carries three mark and next one is magnitude and direction of resultant vectors this is also important derivation for phi mark as we know very well about the resultant vector that resultant vector having certain magnitude it represents certain magnitude and it makes certain angle to the horizontal axis that angle is nothing but direction of a resultant vector from this you are going to get five mark question and next one is projectile motion this is most important concept in this chapter okay here you are going to get one mark question like define projectile motion and five mark question like derive the path of projectile or derive the trajectory of projectile this is for five mark question or you may get derive the path of a parabolic path parabolic path of a projectile like that you are going to get the question that is path is for five mark and next again sub concepts are there these concepts are going to explain the parameters of a projectile motion means if we observe projectile motion we can easily measure these parameters those are first one is maximum height when we for taking an example of projectile motion when we throw a ball to the space in a curved path that curved path is projectile path during this projectile motion we can easily observe the terms that is maximum height when you throw a ball to the space in a curved path it attains maximum height applied force vanishes then the ball automatically falls down whatever the maximum distance 
covered by the ball in a space that is considered as a maximum height okay for maximum height a de small derivation is there okay that you have to derive and find out the expression for maximum height this question will ask for three mark the question is like obtain the expression of maximum maximum height of a projectile and next one is time of flight during the projectile motion this is a nothing but an an event this event will take place certain time interval it may be 1 second 2 second or some other time interval anyhow this projectile motion takes time we can easily calculate the time taken by the that ball during the motion here there are two times are there one is time for ascending small t and same time will be taken by ball for falling down and the time then the total time capital t equal to twice of small t that gives the time of flight here small t means individual time it may be ascending order or it may be descending order for full duration the time taken is known as time of flight that is denoted by capital t for this also you have to derive the small derivation which carries three mark and another one is horizontal range after throwing a ball into space in a curved path it reaches certain height it will take certain time after that the ball will going to fall down to the earth surface here from the reference point from where you have thrown to the ball into the space okay after that it falls down to the surface from the point of projection to the the where the object fall down on the surface that whole distance that whole distance along the horizontal axis is uh, taken as a horizontal range this is denoted by capital r okay these three are the important derivations which carries individually carries for three mark out of three you may get any one okay and uh, path is for five mark path of a projectile after that the concept is circular motion as you know that linear motion the difference between linear and circular motion is only path is different in a linear motion we are observing the quantities in a straight path and in circular path the particle moving in a circular path here also observing the same terms but we are using different notation that is displacement is known as angular displacement velocity is known as angular velocity hmm? acceleration is known as angular acceleration frequency is known as angular frequency like that we are discussing the motion okay that to related to circular type of path is known as circular motion okay these are the main important concepts in the motion in a plane if you prepare these concepts very well easily you are going to get 12 mark from your annual exam that to 2023 and 24 okay thank you